Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we have a really fun project for you where we're going to be creating a giraffe scribble bot or art bot that dances around and creates really fun art. In this project, students are going to be learning about motion, force, electricity and circuits, engineering, and of course, making some really fun art. Our first step is going to be to gather and prepare all of our supplies. You're going to need to cut out five pieces of cardboard. The first will be 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters. The second two will be 10 by 5 and the last one 9 by 5. Take one of the smallest rectangles and we're going to mark the very middle. And then we're going to take our protractor and we are going to measure out a 1 centimeter radius. And we are going to create a circle with a 2 centimeter diameter. Using an X-Acto knife, we're going to go and cut out that circle. Now this step may require an adult because the X-Acto knife is very sharp. So please use caution and make sure you're always putting safety first. Make sure you save that little circle. We're going to need it for later. Inside of that hole that we've left, the motor should fit perfectly. Now we're going to glue and assemble the box that is going to make up the body of our giraffe and is going to house all of the components for our motor that is going to power our scribble bot or art bar bot. For more on this lesson and on how uh, uh, circuits work, make sure you go and actually read the article that we've put together on our site. On there we have diagrams of simple circuits and explanations of exactly how electricity works, a great supplement for this activity. Plus of course we have even more circuit activities you can do with your kids. Now we have that step completed, it's time to work on the motor. We want to attach the uh, motor to the battery pack, so we're going to have to strip the wires so that we've got the uh, copper exposed, and we're going to wrap that around the motor. Now for our steps, we are using a soldering iron, and we are going to be attaching those wires. You could also do this without using the soldering iron. If you have older students, however, this is a wonderful skill for them to practice and develop so that they can start using these tools. Just make sure you're always careful, those soldering irons are hot. Now we're going to go and we're going to place the markers that we're using into the body of our bot. So you're going to want to glue those caps in. Make sure that you don't glue the cap to the stock of the marker. We want to be able to get those markers out so we can flip them around at the end and our bot can draw. You want to use bright colors for this. Now we're going to glue the motor and the battery pack into place. Make sure you glue that battery pack with the switch up so you can get to it. And make sure you don't glue the lid to the battery pack on. This is a great time to actually slip your batteries in. If not, you can do it later like we will do later on in the video. To keep things tidy, you can use a little bit of tape just to tape those wires down so they stay out of the way. And our body is done. Now it's time to make the head and neck of our giraffe. We're using just a toilet roll tube. You can use a piece of craft paper or anything that you happen to have around. You want to make sure you roll it to about the circumference of the um, circle that we cut out for the motor because we are going to be adding that to the end of our tube here. Feel free to tidy it up. You want to make it look nice. You can use a little bit of tape, trim it up, whatever you need to do to make it look good. Now we're going to take that circle and we're going to add it onto the end of the tube. This is where we're going to be attaching the head in a little bit. Now 
Now measure and mark off where you want to glue on your neck. And glue it into place. Now we're using a cork for the head. So you can take the cork and just glue that on. And you can see how it attaches to that circle that we attached. Now we're going to put on our eyes. And punch a little hole and we're just going to put a circle to cover the motor just so it isn't visible on the back. Now we're going to slip those batteries in. If you've already done this step, you don't need to worry about it. But we're going to pop that open. As you can see, it's a little difficult once it's all glued together, but get that popped open and get those batteries in there so we can power our motor. Now we're using a cork for the tail. This is to help with the slightly off balance. Give it a test to make sure it spins. Now we've added a couple of little um, ossicones to the top of our giraffe's head. Ossicones are the horn-like things that grow on their heads. These are not horns or antlers. Just a fun fact about giraffes. Now we're going to make some cute little ears. We're just using some paper here that we have cut into circles. We're going to fold them over to create those cute little giraffe ears that they've got. And we're going to attach those to the side of the cork head with a glue gun. This is a great point where you can really encourage your students to get creative and make their bots special. They might want to do something other than a giraffe or maybe give their giraffe some special features. Encourage them to get creative. And then when you're done and you finish decorating it, it's time to make art. Put down a big sheet of paper, take the marker caps off and let your bot go crazy. You'll notice ours is going backwards. That's because we put our wires on backwards. Make sure to test before you do all the soldering. You can find this and more really fun STEAM projects at STEAM Powered Family. We hope you enjoy making this scribble bot.